Hey there, it's Jenny from Southern Savers. I told you guys last night that I was going to come live and share how we get ready to go grocery shopping. And when I say we, I mean we. Uh, I make my kids help. I've always shared that. So it is one of the tips in terms of getting ready to go to the store faster is to have, uh, you know, more hands in terms of cutting the coupon. So highly recommend that. Um, and if you've got extra hands that you can put to work, having them help you is a huge way um, to get to the store faster. So um, this is a group effort. Uh, so how do we do this? We're going to start, and I'm going to share the screen and show you guys, um, but we're going to start by um, going really to Southern Savers and making our shopping list. So uh, I am going to head to Publix um, first. And then really I need to get ready for Bilo and maybe even CBS. And this is where the people behind me start to cringe. Um, but it's really not that bad. Uh, and we're going to sit here and make a shopping list. So if you've never used Southern Savers before, um, I'm actually getting ready early. This ad does not start in my area until tomorrow. So you can see we've got lots of tabs here. If I work from this one, that's actually the list that's going to end tonight. I don't really want to do that. That would be a bad idea. Um, so I want to work on next week's list and hit that tab and boom, I'm looking at all of next week's deals. And then I can just start to click buttons and add things straight to my shopping list. Um, now, I already know a lot of what's in this list because I typed it. Um, so for you, you're probably going to have to do a little bit of studying to kind of figure out what it is that you want to grab. But I know for me, um, there's crazy good deals on this whole Procter & Gamble gift card deal in public. So I am going to pretty much grab that deal exclusively. And I kind of already know what I want to get because I even worked out a big scenario for you guys. So this is a three transaction scenario. I'm planning on explaining it even more um, in my post shopping video tomorrow. But the gist, when you buy $30 worth of participating items, you're going to get a $10 um, gift card, Publix gift card back uh, right then. And that $30 is before coupons. It always is with these types of promotions. Uh, and it is going to make for a sweet deal because it actually is going to overlap with another promotion at Publix. Um, so we're buying this in multiple transactions because you want to get multiples of that instant gift card. Um, so I am I went ahead and made these. I'm just going to add all three to my cart. That's going to help me, or to my shopping list. It's going to help me remember the order to buy them in. Um, but in the end, you're going to get back the $30 in Publix gift cards, but you're also going to be able to submit for two $10 Publix gift cards online um, in a true kind of mail-in rebate fashion. But you really just submit the pictures to the website. It's for the stocking spree. So you're going to end up with $50 in Publix gift cards for $68 worth of stuff. That's pretty sweet. Um, so that is probably my favorite deal. And then just sit here and select all of the other BOGO items that I would want going down the list. This is really step one. Um, and, you know, for the sake of time, I feel like Martha Stewart. Um, I've actually already done this step. Um, so I'm not going to finish going down the list. I just want you to see the concept. I'm just really going down the list, figuring out what it is that we will buy. Usually for us, it is the items that have coupons on them. But remember, the gist is that we want to buy enough of the items that we will use to last six weeks. So, you know, that's really your goal here is to focus on um, that six-week supply. So if it's something you won't use, ignore it. You know, I, I don't need it. I'm not going to buy it. That's not the point um, for us to just go to the store and go crazy. But it is uh, the point to go in and let's grab what we will use and grab enough to last you six weeks. Now, there are some fun deals that you might want to splurge on just to point those out. So it's not a norm for us to buy Ben and Jerry's or for us to buy enlightened ice cream. But enlightened ice cream is pretty awesome and semi-healthy. Um, so um, I would, you know, point those out to you if you wanted to go that route. Um, and uh, let's see. Um, sorry, my sister-in-law felt the need to send me a text message. Okay. So, um, yeah, finish going down the list, kind of deciding what you want to grab a little heads up this one for folks in Florida, you guys have a real buy one, get one. And the rest of us don't. So folks in Florida, please don't miss this deal. Heinz tomato ketchup is buy one, get one. And there's a buy one, get one coupon.
It's just going to make them both free. I don't care if you hate ketchup. They're giving you ketchup. I actually am not a huge fan of ketchup, but it makes my children eat anything. So if you just put ketchup on their plate, they will eat it. And that has always been the case. Um, so add some of those to your list too. And I'm going to pop over um, and I'll show you uh, where um, I already have my list saved. So I've already made it. It's up top. Um, when you're logged in, you'll see it. And I can pull up the public list that I really made just a few minutes ago. I just wanted for the sake of time um, for you to not, you know, sit here and make watch me ponder live what I thought we would get. So this is everything that I click the box. At the bottom of the list, um, after you've clicked all the boxes, you'll see a create shopping list button. And that's what I've done. Um, so this is the shopping list entirely. Now, a few things about this. If you've, again, never seen this, um, you can uh, make some changes here. So this is currently hiding coupons that were not in my local paper. Um, and I can, un I can unhide them if I want to, but you can actually come and um, edit your profile so that on your profile screen, you um, can tell what newspaper you get, what stores you shop in. So for me, my shopping list is completely tailored to the newspaper that I have set in the system. Um, so if it wasn't in that newspaper, it isn't going to show up on my shopping list. How sweet is that? So we're not going to be sent on a wild goose chase here in a minute. Um, and we will be able to find specifically the coupons that we want. Now, a few other things you can do from the shopping list. We can, if you think I've missed a coupon, you can always add that coupon in yourself. Um, but all your coupons are there. The other thing you can do is let's say that I had something that I just really also wanted to grab and I knew I had a coupon for it. I could manually add it in here. Um, so, you know, trying to think of what one of those may be, um, just off the top of my head. Um, uh, let's see, we can just make something up, I guess. Um, but if we wanted to, um, say, uh, you know, Glade plugins, which are actually on sale, and we could have added it to the list if we wanted to, I just want to show you how it works. I can actually search for Glade plugin coupons and literally coupon a shopping list right here as if I, you know, it wasn't on the Southern Savers list, but you wanted it, then you can sit here and find all the coupons that can go with that um, and make an item just like you would have um, if, if I had already made it for you. So that's done. I've added the three coupons there and it's ready to go on my shopping list if, if I wanted that item. Um, I probably won't end up getting it, just kind of added it for you guys, but just so you could see how that works. Now, at the bottom of the shopping list, this I created for my kids. Uh, and this is what I will turn over to them in just a second. Because this organizes all of these coupons up here, as you can see, by insert. So that they can sit here, and this is what we use. Our inserts are whole. They're in um, hanging file folders in a drawer uh, right behind me. And so they can pull out that smart source insert from 225. And all the inserts have their names across them. So it's not hard to figure that part out, but they can pull out that smart source insert uh, and cut that coupon that is in that insert. So the goal is to make this as quick and as simple as possible. Um, the other thing that we can do is actually click the little blue button and it is going to auto pre-clip anything that was coupons.com that was in my shopping list. So I don't have to go searching for those items. Now, I can always add to it if I wanted to. I would recommend, if you haven't learned this trick already, that you always make this number up here a multiple of three because it's going to print three to a page. And if you don't make it a multiple of three, they will actually add in more because they think they're doing you a favor on not wasting your paper, but they're really not doing you a favor. So, um, you know, go ahead and make sure that you have uh, enough coupons there so I can tell it that I want to print nine and go ahead and print those nine. Um, but that is kind of the, the fast way to handle that on the shopping list, um, to just click that little blue button and it's all happy. Now, it's not going to handle all the coupons that are on brands pages, but it is going to handle also um, as you go through. So I know, guys, that you probably that your screen is super small um, on your mobile phone. I'm not sure why, uh, but if it helps, you know, in terms of being able to read, um, if you can turn your screen sideways, maybe that will help and it'll all be the same size. Um, I just want you to kind of get a gist of what the site looks like. So not sure um, 
why it's super small for you other than, um, uh, you know, maybe it's just me in that. So, okay, so let's go back full screen for a second. Um, with inserts, um, and you guys, if y'all want to get started, I actually already printed their list for them. Um, so I can hold this up too. So this is the shopping list. I had just printed it a second ago. Um, and they can go to town cutting coupons. And when they're doing that from the quick cutting guide, which is a big list, this is a ton of stuff we're going to get at um, Publix this week. So if you are handing this over to kids, uh, a one tip that you can do is go ahead and tell them how many you want of each of those coupons. So for us, we actually get four sets of inserts. Um, it doesn't mean that I want to buy eight scrubbing bubbles toilet cleaners. I really only need enough for six weeks here. So that would be enough to clean my toilets for like three years. We, we don't need to go there. Um, so I'm going to tell them what I want. And I just put a little number next to the coupons before I hand this to them to make it even easier for them so they're not overcutting. The other thing that I do here is that sometimes some of these we have a printable that's better. And so I'll just cross that off. Like, no, nah, let's not do the insert coupon. Let's stick with the printable. We don't need to go kind of, we don't need to have some overkill on that. Um, now, on your list, though, is a bunch of coupons overall. So we have insert coupons, we have printable coupons, and we have some store coupons. So um, we're going to kind of work as a team. They handle the inserts, and I handle most of the printables and most of the store coupons. So I'm heading to Publix, so I need the ones from the flyers. And with Publix coupons, those are, um, you know, all, oops, sorry guys, making you see everything there. Um, oh, where is it? Here we go. Let's just make me go away. Um, oh, even then you're not gonna get to just see me. Let's make this screen really big. Maybe that will help. So you don't have me going over and over and over again in the back. And I'll try to make it as big as I can for y'all. Um, so we'll go super large. Maybe that will help too. Um, oh, there we go. So when you're looking at this, everything's on here. We've got digital coupons. So if I want to go over and start to load some of these digital coupons, I can do that as well um, and just click the link and go straight to those. Um, you're also going to have some mobile app offers that are all in there too. So with the mobile apps, remember that you don't actually need to um, load those until after you shop. But I do recommend if you're going to grab something because it has an Ibotta. So um, let's see, where are my BOGOs? Like this Enlightened. I'm planning on grabbing all this Enlightened because it has an Ibotta. You may not know this, but you can actually click through that link. Um, and it is going to take you um, as close. Let's see if I can it open it on a, on a tab that was hidden for me. It's going to take you to that offer. So I can still see this offer is good. It's still on Ibotta. I can, you know, double check it is good in Publix, but you can do all of that from um, your shopping list if you're concerned about those offers not still being there um, when you get to the store so you can see whether or not they are. Now, on this situation, just to give you guys the heads up on how this works, you can see that we've got $1.25 for Ibotta and $1.35 for Ibotta. You're not going to have both of those. You're really going to have one particular value, and the only way to know that is to actually open up um, your phone and to go to the Ibotta app and to search uh, in their app for Enlightened Ice Cream if you're really, really wanting to know um, what you have. So in my app, I have the $1.35 offer, and hopefully you do too. I don't know that the 10 cents on this one's really going to make it or break it for you, but it does help you to see um, what you wanted to grab. The other thing that you can only tell from the app, and it, this is why I don't have it in the matchups, it's hard for me even, is that by going there, this enlightened um, ice cream deal right here is actually a limit of five. So um, if you've got that $1.35 offer, like I do, and we use the dollar off two, this is even better than we had done the math on, guys, because it's $2.57 in the store. We're going to get 50 cents off per ice cream with the printables. That makes it $207. Uh, and then we're going to get $1.35 off after that for each one of them. So super, super cheap uh, for healthy, high-protein ice cream, which is what that is. Um, so hopefully this helps. You're going to see everything all there together. And this is one of those moments where I said, you know, sometimes I'm going to look at the kids and say, don't cut this from the insert. Uh, not only do I have one that I can load from the public website, but I also have one that I can print um, and, you know, we could go and grab the inserts 
but I don't need that much soft scrub in the end either. Um, so it might be a moment where we tell them, you know, just cut one or I'm going to print some. We're going to clip the e-coupon. We're not going to deal with the insert. So you've got lots of options with those. Um, now, I hope that this helps. I'm going to pop back over and see if you guys have any questions. Um, so, Jonathan, again, you know, you're asking what I paid before the gift card. So on the Publix gift card deal, that doesn't start until tomorrow, so I haven't actually bought it. But on the Publix list, I did do um, three transactions ideas, and that's what we plan on doing. So it's going to come into about 68 bucks after coupons, which is a lot, uh, and it's way over what we normally spend per week in the grocery store, but we're going to leave with $50 in Publix gift cards for that $68 purchase. Um, and that's after coupons. One other heads up, um, and we haven't cut it yet, but if you have the um, P&G insert from 3-4, so it's a month old, but if you have that 3-4 insert, there is a um, mail-in rebate that is available for Pantene and Secret. Those are the two things that are part of this deal that you could submit on top of these other two gift card deals. So you really can go three gift cards deep on that Publix gift card option. I, it's just, it's super exciting. But the heads up that I want you to be aware of on the PNG rebate is that their $50 requirement on their mail-in rebates is always um, after coupons. So all of these others that are public based are before coupons. Um, but that PNG mail and rebate, I kind of put it down there in the bottom of the transaction to say possibly getting back. That's $50 spent after coupons. But I'm going to give you a little heads up, guys. I'm not going to put this on the site because I'm not allowed. But we have a Publix gift card this week with PNG items. We're going to have another Publix gift card next week with more PNG items. So hold off on submitting that PNG mail-in rebate on just the Pantene and just the secret. So if you do go in for these deals at Publix, hold off. Don't mail it in yet. You have until April 30th to make all the purchases because next week you're still going to grab some deals with another gift card offer at Publix that has differ, different um, participating items uh, and more that match in with that rebate. You get my drift? So let's hold off. We'll submit both receipts because it can be across multiple receipts and you'll totally get that $15 mail-in rebate back as well. Um, so Jonathan, um, with the gift card options, the, you'll get $30 worth of them instantly at checkout. So you're going to get $10 every $30 that you spend. Uh, and then two of them you're going to submit online to Stocking Spree, and you will get those two $20 Publix gift cards really within four weeks is about how long it takes for mine to come in. Um, so it's not going to take a super long time to get the extra 20 back, but you're going to have 30 right then in the store. So hopefully that helps a little bit. So we are going to spend 68, but we're going to walk out with $30 in gift cards. Now, uh, another tip on this, and I know this is, this is heavy Publix, which some of you guys don't even have, um, but on this particular deal, I do not want you to use those gift cards to buy the next deal um, because it's very likely that they will end up messing up the other rebates that we want to do. So I want you to just get your gift cards and use them for other things that you're buying, but don't use them for more PNG deals. Just a personal tip on all of that so that it works out beautifully. Okay, so let's jump back to um, actually um, looking at the shopping list one more time because I realized in showing you this that I um, failed to show you one thing that the list can do. Um, so as we look at, um, oh, now it's going to be all, all, all sneaky. So let's go back really quick, actually, um, to the Publix list. So go to Publix. And this is the case on a number of stores. When you come in, that there's actually multiple tabs. And I showed this to you guys um, earlier. Let me make it even bigger. I know you all said it was super small. So we'll make it as big as we can. Um, we've got multiple tabs there. I can actually click, so again, we want to work on tomorrow's list, and if I'm sitting here and I'm making my shopping list for tomorrow, um, the system will remember where you are. So if you want to click and click some items on the personal care flyer, you can do that, and the grocery flyer, it's going to remember everything that we've clipped. So if we come back, they're still clipped. And then if I go to the bottom, we're going to use that button to just jump there faster, and I make a shopping list down here, everything from all three lists will be on um, 
the same shopping list. So this is just to play around, we'll call them Publix Live. Um, but now all three of those lists are right here on the same shopping list uh, and ready to go. So don't be you know, discouraged by having um, all those tabs. I'm going to scroll up again um, really fast here. But if you pull up a list and you see all those different tabs, you know, our goal is to make this really easy, to put it all on the same page, to make it where you don't have to go digging for things. But just remember that you really can add all of these things to the same shopping list. Um, I can also add something to a list I've already made. So if you're logged in, this is not a feature if you're not logged in, by the way, um, because we wouldn't be able to save it. But I could go in and say, you know what, I missed some things or I started my list last night and I didn't finish and I can actually add them all to a list that I've already made. Now, I don't really want to do that because I just randomly clicked things for you, but um, just so you can kind of see how that would look. So I'm going to check in on um, our coupon cutters and see where they are. So you guys have anything that I can show them the next step? Can you, can you hand me some of your pre-cut ones already? Thank you. Um, so once they cut them, this it really is a team effort in our land, but the next step for getting ready to go to the store is once we have them cut and we've printed the coupons um, that we're going to then go through and add to the shopping list how many we plan on getting of the various items. Um, so if I've got a coupon for $1.50 off um, one scrubbing bubble toilet cleaner when I buy a fresh gel product, then I'm going to add a one next to that product on the shopping list so that I know how many to grab. Um, and this one we, we may not end up using um, because I would prefer to just buy the toilet bowl cleaner. The gel is not on sale. Um, so we'll kind of play it out based on the other coupons that we find. Um, but you can see kind of where we're going to go. So we sit there, we grab all the coupons that we have, figure out how many of this I have, and then just write a number on the shopping list for that item um, so that I know what the plan is. So, um, And sometimes you're going to have two different things that are in there together. So this is a great example. Um, but Rana Pasta Sauce, which is BOGO, and we've got a ton of coupons for it. So I've already printed some. They're cutting some. So our plan, I'm just going to rate it right on the side. Is to, And I, I love Sharpie markers, by the way, guys. I, this is just my thing. But um, four pasta sauces and or four pasta packages and two sauces. So when I get to the store, I don't even need to look at the coupons. The shopping list is going to tell me exactly what to buy and how many of it to buy. Um, so and we can just go through exactly like that all the way down. Um, and the same for every single item. And that's how we're going to prep. So we're going to cut the coupons the shopping list tells us to cut. And then once we get them all cut, just quickly right into the side how many to grab on those items. Um, and then we go a little low key from here. Um, but I take this into the store and I, um, I'm going to show it to you, but I have a few coupons I need to file it. So this is what I take into the store with me. This is really overkill. It has a lot of pockets in it, but most of them are empty. Um, but the big part is that it has a Publix pocket. So I'll just pull out that one. So everything from this list that we're cutting is going to go right into the Publix pocket and we're ready to use that in the store. The other things that live in the Publix pocket are rain checks so that I remember when I'm in the store, oh yeah, let's look for this again. I know we talked about it last night. I've been looking for Bella dog food for the last month, um, but we'll look for it again and hope that it's there. Um, probably isn't, but you know, never hurts to keep looking. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Very low key. We're completely ready for the store. The coupons are in there. And then in the store, I, I don't really need the coupons until I head to check out. They're all right there in the pocket. I'm going to go through them one time to make sure I don't hand the cashier something that, you know, we didn't end up grabbing. Um, but that's it. I'm not going to spend um, a lot of time, you know, analyzing coupons as we walk through the aisle. I, I don't have a binder that I'm walking through the aisle with. I just have the shopping list. And I'm grabbing what the shopping list tells me to buy and I'm heading home. So it's kind of the fast and the simple way to go. Um, so yeah, Heidi, I do. So my kids, um, they kind of know um, <laughs> uh, that they, every Tuesday afternoon, need to head up here and see if there's any coupons that I can cut. It's not their favorite task, I will be honest. I have some grumbling every now and then, um, but this is just kind of a requirement if you wanna live here and you wanna eat, that you are gonna help to cut some coupons. 
Uh, and our younger kiddos, uh, I actually will hold on to, so this one's set to expire in a couple days, we'll hold on to the old expired Publix inserts uh, or Publix flyers. And these are perfect because I make all of my younger ones, they, they always want to help. So they cut expired ones. Um, we do not hand over good coupons to those who do not know how to cut yet. But we um, will always let them play, you know, within reason. I'm not handing a, a pair of scissors to a one-year-old, but you get the drift. Um, so uh, I don't know about having dogs help you, though, Heidi. That's going to be a tricky one. Um, definitely, uh, if you've got kids, though, they can they can definitely put to work. So, um Let's see. Oh, so Heidi, you're saying about the dog food. Did I miss a question? Let me see. I'll scroll through um, and see where we're going. Um, uh, oh, I don't see your question. Um, oh, gotcha. You spoke with it. And um, okay. So Heidi, follow up on our, our dog food conundrum. So Publix is saying it's a manufacturer's problem and that no one's getting it. So um, I don't know, you know, we'll see if we can, what what they'll do. Did they, were they willing to uh, extend your rain check, Heidi, or did they tell you that you're out of luck? Uh, it was a pretty sweet free deal for the first five people, I guess, that managed to get to the store. Um, so this was Publix, uh, but this is exactly the same way that we would prep for any store, guys. So I don't want you to think, it, you know, that I was aiming for a Publix entirely uh, video because we really could go with, any store, and I'll scroll quickly to the top again, um, all the stores are up here that you would need. We also need to go to CVS this week, so I could do the same thing and quickly make my CVS list. CVS to me is even easier because I'm even more um, picky on what we're going to grab, um, knowing you know the deals that are out there and the coupons that I have on my CVS account. So uh, once I think about what deals I have on my CVS account, what's going to make for a freebie, and those are the things that I tend to add in um, as we go through the list. So, like, I have that four off 18 in hair care uh, that's going to make for a sweet deal. I have the body wash coupon that's going to make for a really sweet uh, free body wash at CVS. Um, and those are the things that I'm, I tend to add in. I also have $1 off any deodorant. Um, so we already have, you know, a deal that's going to make the deodorants 50 cents a piece. My $1 off deodorant is going to make both of those free. This is the joy of CVS. It's just, you know, if you're going to pay us to uh, buy things, we will definitely buy them. Um, so some of you guys may see the acorn and dive on it. That is me letting you know it is a good deal. But even when we're talking toothpaste, to me, 32 cents is a little steep. Um, so I'm not going to go diving in on 32 cent toothpaste. I really want to stick with the free. And there is free toothpaste this week at CVS. Um, so that would be the one that I would probably recommend everybody go for and not necessarily the 32 cent um, crest. So you guys can see I'm skipping a ton here. I'm really aiming for the best deals um, at CVS. Um, and that's all that we're grabbing. So I ran into someone this weekend that said they spent like 70 bucks on their first CVS trip. And that near about just makes me choke. Um, just the idea of spending that much on one trip. So this is our big hair care deal, uh, and I, I'm going to end up not grabbing everything, but they're all together, so I'll show you how to take that off of your shopping list here in a second, um, but you do have to put them all on there together. Um, oh, and we were going to grab this big personal deal, too. So uh, tons of stuff at CVS this week. I have a lot that I guess I'll be showing you guys. Um, the free toothpaste is down here, uh, but there we go. So he's, he's $3. I think I've got that's high enough for you all to see. You're going to get a 250 store coupon, you're, and we've got 50 cent printables, so it just comes out to be completely free as well. So there, um, we have we have made a full list. I always name my list so that um, I don't get them confused with other stores, and I name them with the the date that I'm going to go to the store. So there's my CVS list um, all ready and uh, <laughs> waiting for folks behind me to cut it. I guess. Um, now, I told you I would show you how to remove some things. So I don't actually plan on grabbing everything that's part of this cash card, but they come over together. That's just kind of so that you can help keep them together in your head. But you can quickly just click the little buttons and take them off if you don't want them. So I'm not going to color my hair. Um, I'm not going to do the Garnier facial care or the L'Oreal facial care. I can take all of those off and be left with my plan is just the Garnier 
and just the L'Oreal Elive that actually matches the steel idea that already came over. Um, you know, if I'm going to take the time to make a deal idea, I might as well take the time to buy it. So I can take off the rest of the things too. So now I'm left with just the items that I want to grab that are part of that cash card um, without having to grab every single item. And I had another one over here as well um, that I can sit here and remove the items that I don't plan on buying. I'm going to go um, paper towels. So I think um, paper towels and toilet paper are huge things to always stock up on at CVS and we're going to go ahead and grab the purcell, um, that is part of that deal as well. So kind of take off some of the other things. It's fun to finally take off diapers. We are not buying those anymore. Um, but that's where we'll go here. Probably follow this plan, but I may change up and get, um, the bigger cut now, just depending on whatever my store has. So, um, hopefully this helps too. Some of CVS is looking and seeing what's in your CVS account, um, coupon wise, which I, I already did, so I already know that I have the four off 18 in hair care. I, I have an Excedrin coupon. I have um, a cosmetics coupon. I have a deodorant coupon. You see where this is going, and a body wash coupon. So that's really, as I sit here and I look at what I want to grab from CVS, almost everything that I end up pulling to the list is based off of the store coupons that are in my CVS account. So um, hopefully, you know, that um, helps you to see what um, what the plan is, I guess, in um, what we're grabbing in the store. Okay, I'm going to come back and make sure. Um, yes, so Paige, if you can't find the coupons in the database, they are expired. And that's just how the database plays. Uh, once it expires, it's gone. And that's really to make it easier for you. I know it can be frustrating because you want to still go find them. Um, but that's just how we kind of clean them out. Um, once they're expired, they're completely gone from the database. Um, so Lynn, that's a great question. Do I take my coupons with me and leave them in the car in case I run across a clearance deal that's too good to pass up? No, Lynn, I don't. I, I do take this bag, but there really isn't much in the bag. Um, instead, I do one of two things. If I run into a clearance deal in a grocery store, go ahead and grab the item don't use a coupon on it, and then come back. Every grocery store that I've ever asked, you want to ask first, but everyone I've ever asked, if I say, hey, I, I grabbed this, I didn't have a coupon on it, can I use the coupon the next time I come in? They all say yes. So you just bring in the coupon the next time you come to the store with your receipt, and you're good to go. Um, so that is the route that I take. The other thing on clearance deals is that most of those items – you are going to see on sale on another day. So it doesn't mean that I have to have these. It doesn't mean it's the best price ever. A lot of times it just means that it's near the end of its date and it needs to be used up quickly. Um, so, you know, you don't have to go diving in on all the clearance deals. And once you've been at it for a while, um, you'll start to see that too because you'll start to see that they just rotate through. Uh, you know, we've got a ton of mustard. It's going to have to take a really great clearance deal for me to add mustard to the cart no matter what. Um, but hopefully that helps. So I don't take them with me. Really, most of the fact of that, Lynn, is that my inserts are whole. They're all in an accordion file sitting in a drawer in that desk. So it would be pretty huge to have to haul all of these with me and cut them in the store. So definitely not going to do that. Um, Diane, how do I know what coupons I have? You can't remember. So um, for me, in the store, I know because they're on the shopping list. And the shopping list is telling me to buy it. And I've already decided what I'm buying. But in terms of getting ready for the shopping list and getting ready for the store, there are moments, and um, I actually had just done this with my kids, but like the Rana pasta, which is at the top of the list there, um, I'd actually cut those previously thinking we were going to grab them in Bilo, and then the Bilo ended up not really being the deal that I thought it was going to be. So there are moments that we will go to cut them, and they've really already been cut. Uh, and sometimes I will remember that. Uh, sometimes I will not. So instead, I will say, you know, I told them, let's cut two of this quilted northern. And if you don't find it there, there's another quilted northern um, down here. So you kind of have a backup option if you didn't find it in the first insert that you could turn around and find it in the next one. Um, now, if you don't organize by keeping your inserts whole, this quick cutting guide that's on the bottom of the insert, it really doesn't help you. And you can actually hide that. So if you don't want to see it, uh, and I can show you that one as well. Um, but if, if you're, you know, if that quick cutting guide really, really bother, bothers you, I can make it go away by pushing that little button. And now 
I hit it at the top and it doesn't exist. It's not on the bottom of my shopping list. I've had folks ask through the years for various things that they can hide. They didn't want the math. Um, some of you guys are very huge paper misers uh, and you know who you are. So you can hide math. If you want to hide math, you can, you can hide anything you want. I almost feel like in the end, um, you can even hide the coupon matchups if you wanted to. But that to me makes no sense. I don't know why we want to do that. Um, but, you know, just so you can kind of see all that you can do on the shopping list. And hopefully that helps. Um, do I have a spot for coupons that I clipped and didn't use in the store? So, yes, Paige, that's actually what does end up in this bag. So this bag comes with me to the store. It has um, coupons that are organized by locations in the store. So um, baking, refrigerated, uh, breads, can and package. There's three of them total in this bag. So there's a lot of categories. But if you were to look inside of these, uh, it doesn't mean that there's a lot of coupons. So breads, for example, has one. And it's a little tiny tear pad that I found in the store. Um, that's it in the whole category of breads. Uh, and that is, so this is pretty much just the coupons that I cut early or printed early or cut and then didn't use in the store. Um, so I, it'll also be a lot of the tear pads that we find. So this is like Sweet Earth. It was on a display in the store um, or ones that we printed and then didn't end up using right away. Um, they end up in here. That's it, though. So it's just those few. Everything else is kept in the big accordion file or however you want to do that hanging file for us or a big accordion file if you don't have a hanging folder. Um, and that, that way we just cut them if they end up on the shopping list. So um, I don't want to make you guys, you know, stick with us as we keep going. We probably, I would guess for them, um, they probably have another five or six minutes and I need to cut the printables. Um, but all together, we will usually be ready to go to the store in less than 45 minutes, I would say total. And this is going to be getting ready for Publix and CVS um, that we'll be able to handle both of those trips within that 45 minute window. Um, that is just our goal overall. Oh, yeah. So Paige, my extra care box. This is not where you should keep yours, but my extra care box are in my CVS app um, because I went paperless, and I shared this with you guys a while ago, but I went paperless, and once you go paperless, you cannot go back, and it's a very scary thing to do. It, it actually has its own uh, troubles, so all of my extra care box are inside the app loaded to my card, so I don't have to keep them in a bag, but register rewards or paper coupons. So like this guy that I just got at Food Lion this week. Um, I am not going to put this in a Food Lion category. This is going to end up really coming off of our Publix trip this week. Um, so Publix will take this. I probably won't go back into Food Lion. So this is going to end up in my Publix pocket or my Bilo pocket in the bag. But because the bag does have um, a section that is store specific, you could do that. You could just put those coupons right in the pocket for the store if this is how you wanted to organize, um, which is exactly, you know, what I've done as I showed you earlier with rain checks. So that I have that and it's ready to go. That's really where all my coupons are going to end up here in a minute. Um, but that way I don't forget about the rain check when I'm headed into the store either. It's right there in that section. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to pop off. I let, you know, some of you guys need to head home if you're at work. I hope you actually haven't been watching this at work, but um, I am going to pop off. We're going to finish getting ready for the store. Uh, and then um, I will pop back on tomorrow when we get home from the store and share how we did, how much we saved, kind of the usual Wednesday routine. I know I haven't done it for a couple weeks. Um, it's hard to go couponing and then pop on in an airport. So that made last week just not work altogether. Uh, my coupon bag, Tanya, this one in particular, it is an insulated lunch bag from Staples. So, you know, cost 10 bucks and it snaps shut if you want to use the snap. And then the inside is just coupon folders with their tops cut off. So they're the ones that you would normally latch and close, um, but the tops are just permanently cut off so that they stay in the bag. Um, so hopefully that helps. Uh, I love the insulated lunch bag, though. It's the perfect size for that. And then the snap helps to keep everything in there all perfect and, and easy. Okay, y'all have a great afternoon. I hope this helped. That was really the goal and just showing you how we get together and how things happen. Uh, I can kind of show you their progress here. I have to lift it up, though. So, I mean, they're slowly, they slowly cut and go. It looks like they're actually done and just waiting for me to stop talking. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's really not that tricky, especially if you have some other people to do some of your work for you. Um, but, you know, getting all hands on deck and making it a family affair 
saves some time and helps everyone else to kind of see the importance of what we're doing. Um, Y'all have a great night. Um, Thanks for joining me.